Good evening to the County Executive, Joe DiVincenzo Jr., Constitutional Officers, my fellow commissioners, our impressive list of honorees, and all in our viewing audience. Good evening. I am Wayne Richardson, President of the Board of County Commissioners, and it is my distinct honor on behalf of this board to welcome you to our annual Women's History Month program. Tonight's event is being held virtually, and as we end the month of March, we should all embrace the opportunity to celebrate Women's History Month. Whether we are reflecting on the life of the recently deceased Madeleine Albright, the first woman to serve as the United States Secretary of State, or standing in appreciation of Ketanja Brown Jackson, who is poised to become the first African-American woman to serve on the Supreme Court, <clears throat> it is clear that women's history is a critical aspect of our nation's history. We simply would not be where we are today without the significant contributions of so many women from past and present. To that end, this board is proud to recognize the contributions of our four distinguished women who have contributed so much to Essex County and our standing surrounding communities. Tonight, we will honor Linda C. Harrison, Garnett Hall, Natasha Perry, and Carolyn Thompson Wallace. We thank each of you for your outstanding contributions. During the program, we will hear details about the great work you have done and continue doing. Once again, I welcome you to our 2022 Women's History Month program. We hope you enjoy the program and are inspired to do more as we celebrate our honorees and women everywhere. Thank you and God bless each of you. So what we actually have next is opening prayer from Reverend Dr. Eva C. Foster, First Baptist Church of Irvington. Won't you bow your heads with me as we find ourselves in the presence of God. Gracious God, how we thank you for this gathering as we come together to celebrate Women's History Month. We come together to celebrate the achievements that women have made throughout recorded time. We come acknowledging the obstacles that have been encountered on the path to equality and recognition. We come together to acknowledge that victory is possible even in the face of deep rooted social adversity. And we come acknowledging that through all obstacles and through all challenges, you, O oh God, have been with us every step of the way. So as we commence this time of recognition and this time of celebration, we ask that you be with us as you have been through all the struggles we have faced in the past and through all the struggles that are yet to be encountered. Be our ever-present help, be our guide, be our direction as we continue on the path of justice and equality for all people, regardless of race, regardless of belief, regardless of gender and gender expression, for we are all one in your sight. This is our humble prayer, amen. Thank you, Reverend Foster, really appreciate it. Next, we're gonna hear the Star Spangled Banner.
I will welcome the commissioners who are joined with us tonight. Of course, you've heard from President uh, Wayne Richardson, and we have Vice President Carlos Pomares, and we have Commissioner Bobby uh, Mercado, and we have Commissioner Brendan Gill. And at that point, I will turn it back to you, uh, President Richardson, for your honoree. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner Sebo. Appreciate it. So please help me welcome Linda C. Harrison, CEO and Director of the Newark Museum of Art. Allow me to share a few details from the commendation. The Newark Museum of Art is one of the premier anchor institutions in Newark that serve Essex County and beyond. As the Director and CEO, Linda plays a strategic and unifying role within the city and its fellow anchor institutions. Linda revels in developing and communicating an inspiring vision that is inclusive, achievable, and ensures financial sustainability to strengthen and expand the museum's ties to the community. During the first of her three-year vision plan, Linda established a new senior leadership team and revamped the organization. Under her leadership in 2019, the Board of Trustees was presented a balanced budget for the first time in over a decade and earned income was increased 25% over the previous year. Linda currently serves on the Board of Trustees for a number of organizations, including the Association of Art Museum Directors, the American Alliance of Museums, the Regional Plan Association for New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, the Newark Downtown District, the Newark Alliance, and the City of Newark Reopening and Recovery Strike Force. Throughout her career, she has received many awards, including the Yerba Bueno Arts Alliance Unsung Hero Award, mm -hmm. the 11 Most Influential Women in San Francisco Artworks Award, and the Rutgers Business School CEO Leadership Excellent Award. She enjoys book collecting and reading out of print design and architect books. She is also a classic film movie buff that loves to travel to classic film festivals in Hollywood or on ships at sea. I'm a Turner Classic man myself. I love Turner Classic movies. Linda C. Harrison, it is my pleasure to present you with the board's commendation and plaque and recognize you for your service to the community. The plaque reads, Essex County Board of County Commissioners hereby honors Linda C. Harrison for embodying the spirit and accomplishment of women everywhere in celebration of Women's History Month, March 31st, 2022. Linda, please unmute your mic and say a few words. Well, I, I, I love a, a fellow classic film buff. Um, thank you so much, um, Chairman Richardson. Um, I am so delighted that I am in the presence of these fearless women who are my um, fellow um, honorees. Um, we all know that uh, when women take the helm, something good happens and usually impactful. Um, and I am um, so excited that uh, for the last uh, three years that I have been a part of a a uh, cultural institution uh, that uh, can lockstep with the Essex County uh, Commissioners um, and um, Joe D. Um, I have come to know Joe D because he calls me every week. Um, he lets me know what's happening um, in regards to um, his uh, uh, approach and management of the, of, of the uh, COVID-19 uh, to really pandemic that we've had. Um, um, the Essex County um, uh, commissioners have just been outstanding um, in how they approach that and even became a role model for us at the museum on how we should um, handle our guidelines, uh, not only for our visitors, but also for our staff. Um, I am um, truly honored. I, I was surprised that I would receive such an honor. Um, and I want to invite all of the commissioners and my honorees um, and those who are watching um, to now come back to the museum. Uh, we are 
open and we want to participate in the vibrancy of Essex County uh, by really having that cultural uh, vibrancy of an urban um, city here in Newark. Um, I thank you uh, and I am just delighted uh, to be here this evening. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and we will come back to the museum, absolutely. And uh, as I, I stated earlier, I'm, I'm gonna have to leave now. Commissioner Gill, how are you? I didn't see you initially. Uh, but again, congratulations to all the honorees, well-deserved, and you shouldn't be surprised. It's easy when you don't have to make stuff up. You ladies, you women have a body of work and it should be recognized and celebrated. So congratulations again to each and every one of you. Have a great evening and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Linda. And again, congratulations to you. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I am the District 1 Commissioner, uh, Robert Mercado. And as I uh, previously stated by my colleagues, I am so honored to be a part of tonight's event celebrating Women's History Month. At this time, I would ask everyone to join me in welcoming the second honoree uh, for tonight. Uh, that's Natasha Pared. And uh, before I go into some of the highlights, I, I just want to um, just say that I had the opportunity um, to visit uh, Principal Natasha Perez's uh, school, uh, Rafael Hernandez, in North's North Ward. And um, it's an elementary school with preschool students, with children with disabilities, and children, students all the way up into the eighth grade. And I tell you, Miss. Uh, Principal Pared gave me a tour of the entire, each of the floors as we entered each, we entered about eight to 10 classrooms. And as I entered each classrooms, the teachers were focused, students focused, they never nudged. We walked in as if there's no one walked in, they were focused on learning, the teachers were teaching. It was just a, 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 a just an exciting, um, uh, uh, thing to watch and, um, uh, and as I shared to the principal, um, I had never seen an elementary school. You can hear a pin drop in the hallways. It was clean, it was secure, it was safe. It was just so overwhelmingly, I was so impressed with, uh, with the, the staff, the teachers, the aides, the guards, everyone was so welcoming. So I wanna thank her um, for that tour. So at this time, let me share some of the highlights from this uh, commendation. Uh, Natasha uh, hails from the mighty North Ward of Newark. Uh, she is currently the principal at Rafael Hernandez here in Newark and has for the over 18 years experience in urban education, which has been instrumental in developing her voice as an educational leader. She is a career educator. She's a first generation high school and college graduate whose educational career began as a first grade te uh, teacher with the Orange Board of Education. And from there, she grew into a model classroom teacher with the Children's Literacy Initiative. As her career progressed, she took on the role of mentoring other teachers and leading other professional development sessions, which further developed her skills as an educational leader. As a first grade teacher in Englewood, she became part of the positive behavior support team where she supported school-wide initiatives for the social emotional development of students. In 2012, she became a literacy coach for the North Board of Education and quickly transitioned into the role of vice principal. In 2018, she was honored with being appointed the principal of Rafael Hernandez School. She is a wife, a mother of three children who has graduated from the North Public School. She is a product of our school system. I tell you, not many uh, educators get to go to school and then come back and teach and then be the principal in your community. How great is that? Uh, she is also a grandmother of two. You would not tell by looking at her. her she continues to build and serve her community with the goal of making sustainable progress that improves teacher instruction and impacts student learning. 
when I spoke to a principal, she calls her students, she doesn't call them students, she calls them her babies. And she is so compassionate uh, with her, with her staff, with her babies as she calls them. And if you walk through her school, you'll see she's given her staff the tools. Every classroom has a smart board. Every teacher has a laptop, the kids. I mean, it is, it is something to watch. It is, is so great to see. And this evening, we are pleased to present you with the board's commendation and recognize you for the service to the community. And the plaque reads, the Essex County Board of County Commissioners hereby honors Natasha Pajred for embodying the spirit and the accomplishments of women everywhere in celebration of Women's History Month, March 31st, 2022. So Miss Natasha Pajred, please unmute your mic and please share with us a few words. Thank you so much for your kind words, Commissioner Mercado. I want to start off by thanking um, all of the commissioners on the call and who were unable to make it. Um, President Richardson, Vice President Pomares, Commissioners Cooper, Commissioner Gill, Commissioner Graham, Commissioner Johnson, Commissioner Luciano, Commissioner Mercado, Commissioner Siebold, and Clerk Davis Ford as well. Um, Fellow honorees, I am so inspired by the work that you are also doing or have done in your lifetime, and I can only wish to be as you are um, in your roles um, and as dedicated as you are in your roles. Um, in my career, I realized in my life, I've realized that how important a village is to the life of a child. And growing up um, in the North Ward um, here in Newark, where I still call home, um, I realized the amount of impact that women in the village have on the lives of a child. And so I'm going to start off with um, a, a, a story of my journey. And my journey began with my grandmother who instilled a love of family and dedication to your community where people can knock on her door and she would offer you a plate of food. Her door was always literally unlocked here in the North Ward. It did not matter. Everyone knew to go to my grandmother for whatever they needed. To my mother who showed me how to persevere. There was nothing that we could not accomplish if we didn't put our minds to it. And she instilled that in me since, a young, since I was a young girl. My daughter who has taught me humility and the importance of a quiet spirit. I'm a very loud, rambunctious person. And she taught me the opposite can also equate to strength. My daughter-in-law who has reminded me that regardless of how much you're juggling, there still can be joy in all that we encompass as women. To my uh, friends, my best friend, Amada, Ms. Bronco, Ms. Miranda, I do call them by last name because they are educators and that's what we do. <laughs> We're not on first name basis, we can be, but it's just what we do. Um, who have always been my sounding boards and have been guidance um, for me, um, provided me with um, the the, the devil's advocate sometimes that I need to hear when I may not be in the right. To the vice principals that work alongside me, have done this work with me for four years, vice principals Bird, Vargas, and Hill, who have been my strength and have turned all my ideas into a reality and have moved the school forward. To the teachers who I work alongside every single day who teach, to each one of our students with compassion and with love. Each one of these women in my life throughout the time that I've been here on earth have been an inspiration and have taught me to be more balanced as a woman in a leadership role. And to the men who have seen the strength in the role of a woman in a community, my grandfather who instilled a growth mindset in me, we were never stagnant. There's always something more we can do. My husband, who is always there to console me and remind me of that strength, that I can get through anything. My son, Nelson, who is a calming spirit in midst of a storm, very logical in his reactions. He's taught me to be that way as well and not to always be guided by emotion. My son, Nathan, who has taught me the, the, the power in the healing power of humor, to my assistant superintendent, 
Dr. Fuentes, who has helped seen the potential in me. He has developed this voice that I now use to lead a school. And so our superintendent, Leon, who has believed in me and knew exactly the right time to call on me to lead Rafael Hernandez School. I say all of that because, as I said, it does take a village to raise children. It takes a village to raise a leader as well. And I am a direct testament of that. And so I thank everyone within the North Board of Education, within the city of Newark, who have raised me to be what I am today. And I thank everyone on this call for recognizing that because sometimes I'm a little really, I'm not a little, really hard on myself and I don't always see it. So um, Commissioner Mercado, with your words about the school and how you, uh, all that you witnessed entering my building, you know, and seeing my babies as they flourish, um, it, it's, it's sometimes hard to see the other side and sometimes we need that reminder from an outside looking in and I thank you for bringing that. Thank you everyone. Thank you honorees as well for being another source of strength for me. Thank you so much, Principal Natasha. Perrette, you are truly exceptional and a real inspiration. Having taught for 30 years, I know what it's like to be a principal because I watch the principal all the time. So you are really terrific. Congratulations. At this time, we will hear a musical selection before recognizing our remain, remaining honorees. So if you would, Please turn your attention to Alicia Keys as she delivers a video performance of Superwoman. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our honoree for tonight's program. Please join me in welcoming Essex County Deputy Clerk Garnett Hall. I will share a few details from the commendation. Garnett currently serves as deputy clerk of the Essex County Clerk's Office. She supports and provides services to Essex County residents with passport applications, the swearing in of New Jersey notaries, and I know about that, <laughs> and the VBM application and registration process. Prior to serving as the deputy clerk, she enjoyed a decorated career in telecommunications for over 30 years and received many awards, certificates, and recognitions during her time as a sales professional. She is currently the vice chair of the Maplewood Democratic Committee and has participated in all aspects of organizing and strategic planning for the campaigns of local and New Jersey state legislators. She is an active volunteer in Essex County and has served on boards and committees throughout New Jersey and New York, including the Maplewood Democratic Committee, the Urban League, Montclair Division, Oper <clears throat> Operation Push, Montclair Division, and the Maplewood Environmental Committee. She loves serving the public and making a difference. She has been a Girl Scout leader for 229 for three years and a PTA chair for Seth Boyden School. She is a constituent outreach associate for Legislative District 27, a certified notary associate, and also serves as the ordained minister and marriage officiant. She is married to her husband, George A. Hall, and they are the proud parents of Ariane, who is a registered nurse with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Newark, and Avery, who is a Newark police officer. Barnett, your record of service is beyond reproach, and we are so pleased to present you with the board's commendation and plaque. The plaque reads, the Essex County Board of County Commissioners hereby honors Garnett Hall for embodying the spirit and accomplishments of women everywhere in celebration of Women's History Month, March 31st, 2022. So now, Garnett, it's time to hear from you. 
So please make sure you are unmuted and say a few words. Thank you, Commissioner Siebel, very much. And President Richardson, the Board of Commissioners, and all the honorees that are sharing this spotlight tonight. Uh, you can see by the smiles on our face that we're excited. Mm -hmm. um, we're very honored to be in this position. And now I have some new friends to collaborate with. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know that this award means a little bit more to me than many of the awards that I have gotten in the past. And that's because it kind of caps or identifies my parents making that trip from the South to the North and finding a new place to call home. And they happen to end in Essex County. So my father, who I think I get most of my love of community and just being in love of people and being happy and positive. Um, I think that when they came up, it was three of them, three cousins, and then they married three sisters, who one of them happened to be my mother. And guess what? They worked at Essex County Hospital, used to be known as Overlook Hospital, 30 years ago and retired. So who would have thought that I would be sitting here in front of everyone, looking at the accomplishments that I've made, it was all started with them. So I would just like to say that I am dedicating um, this acknowledgement to them because uh, my father has passed away. My mother is in a nursing home with dementia. So I don't know how much she'll know, but I just wanted to stand up and tell the world that I am very proud to call Essex County my home. My son works for Essex County. My brother works for Essex County. He is the um, athletic coordinator for Montclair. My daughter is working for Blue Cross and Blue Shale. So all of this really works. Don't go anywhere. Stay in Essex County and do your work. And that's, I feel like Newark is my local community. I tell people that all the time. Newark is a local community to every community that surrounds us. So although I've done a lot of things in these past 30 years, I'm really looking forward to what's my next chapter? What else can I do? How can I, and that's why we, I said tonight about co collaborating, even the audience out there that I can't see, if there's a goal that we need to put together, I'm like that problem solver. Let's get together and make a difference. So I really appreciate the opportunity to acknowledge some of the things that I've done to offer that I'm ready to do some more work and to tell you that I'm just ready to go. So thank you once again, Board of Commissioners. Thank you once again, Pat Siebel, Commissioner Siebel. Um, you, you recognize me. I mean, that you don't know. I was excited. Deborah Davis Ford. You know, I'm always paddling along, trying to find out what's going on. How to thank you so much for thinking of me, because this go this is really dear to my heart. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Barnett. And I have to tell you, Essex County is really lucky that you live here, because <laughs> you belong in Essex County. We need you. So thank keep you, on Pat. doing the great work. Thank you so much. At this time. Filling in for Commissioner Tashemi Cooper, I'm going to present the next honoree. Unfortunately, the commissioner could not be here because she had some health issues with her kids and is at the doctor and didn't know she could get here on time. But I'm happy to present the next honoree. She also is from Newark and is a community organizer and published author. And through her service to the community, she has earned the distinction as one of the premier matriarchs, matriarchs of Newark. So please join me in welcoming Carolyn Thompson Wallace. And I will share a few highlights from the commendation. Carolyn was trained in business and human relation techniques from Newark's total employment and manpower. TAM team program conducted at the Hoffman LaRoche Pharmaceutical Company, where she was introduced to the duties of a medical assistant. She also received stenographic, sten, stenographic and clerical training offered by the New Jersey Department of Civil Service and has received an honorary degree from Essex County College. Her working experience includes serving as a union representative in the garment industry with the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. 
director of the Central Ward Multi-Service Center of Councilman Jesse Allen and the director of the B.F. Johnson Civic Association. While living in the Brook Towers housing complex in Newark, she was asked to assist in the area of tenant affairs and tenant placement. During this time, she worked alongside James Wallace, a special Newark police officer who managed the security and safety of the residents. In 1976, she and James Wallace were married. Additionally, she assisted with the Brick Tower Youth Association that conducted activities for the young people residing in the area. Due to the overwhelming needs of the youth residing in the area, she organized the International Youth Organization, IO. She has earned a vast number of awards, plaques, trophies, and dedications. She has not only become one of the premier matriarchs of Newark, she is a published author who contributed to the writing of the Black Family Past and Future and has appeared in several national TV productions. So this evening, we're pleased to honor you with the board's commendation and recognize you for your service to the community. And of course, the plaque reads, the Essex County Board of County Commissioners hereby honors Carolyn Thompson Wallace for embodying the spirit and accomplishments of women everywhere in celebration of Women's History Month March 31, 2022. So Carolyn Thompson Wallace, if you will now join us and say a few words, please. Well, good evening to everyone. Oh my good goodness. Evening. Good evening. And two, congratulations to all of the honorees and uh, thanks to the commissioners for this opportunity. And uh, as celebrating that couple of days ago, I celebrated my 87th, 87th birthday. Oh, wow. And uh, uh, Patricia, you and I go way back uh, a long time too. So I just, uh, it's just great to be here and it's great to be honored. Um, I think this honor is especially important to me because out of the 30,000, 40,000 young people that we have worked with, it is great to be recognized from one of your alumni that has made it. So to Shami Cooper, you know, it just does your heart good to see that some of your work did pay off. And I'm just so proud of her uh, for being where she is and as a commissioner for Essex County. It just does my heart good to have so many young people who have made it um, until it's just almost unbelievable that all the time that has gone by uh, IYO South will be celebrating uh, 50 years of service in the community and all of the things that we have done. And to all the founding members, uh, a few of us are still left, praise God, uh, to talk about the journey. And so I just thank, uh, I thank all of you for remembering the work that my husband and I did, for my love for the community, and just for the accomplishments that God made happen for us. Um, it's just hard to remember all of the things that we have done. But like I said, it is great to be a receiver of an award for some of your young people that have been successful. Uh, Tashami Cooper's mother worked for me. So I've been knowing her since she was a very little girl. And to see where she is now, I am so proud. So thanks to the commissioners, uh, been around a long time with a lot of folks on this screen and in this field. And I just thank God that I can say we made it. We did accomplish something, still got a lot of work to do, but I know in the future, we will still be going on. So thank you and everybody have a great evening and praise God for being here. Thank you so much, Carolyn Thompson Wallace and make sure you keep up the wonderful work that you are doing. It's very, very important and very important to Newark and Essex County. So as we conclude our program, I thank each of you for joining us to celebrate our honorees and women everywhere. Each year we host this event. 
I continue to admire the talented people that make so many contributions to our county. Essex County truly needs you. To our honorees, your efforts have made each one of you leaders in your own right. You have made our communities better, and through your actions, you have inspired each of us to be better citizens. So thank you so much again. To our viewing audience, I thank you for taking the time to join us. We urge everyone to continue to be vigilant in protecting yourself and your family. Please be mindful of all health and safety protocols and get vaccinated. In fact, I just read today that our governor has COVID. He came down with it today. So we're not out of this yet. We have to make sure we pay attention. So in conclusion, at this time, we bring back Reverend Dr. Eva C. Foster of First Baptist Church of Irvington with our closing prayer. So everyone, good night and stay safe. Thank you. Let us pray. And now God, we thank you for the celebration of women's history. We express our gratitude for all those who have worked for justice. We express our gratitude for all those women who have raised their voices in support of peace. And we express our gratitude for those women who were not afraid to confront systemic violations. We stand proudly on the shoulders of those women who have gone before, and we thank you that they stood strong in the face of adversities of every kind. We pray now for future generations and ask that you give them the strength to follow the examples of those who have gone before us. We pray that they will be groundbreakers, we pray that they will be pathmakers, that the work that has been done will pave the way for generations to come. And now unto you, O God, the one who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And those who are assembled here today respond with a rousing amen, amen, and amen.